is Miss Shelly. I wanted to come read y'all a story out here at the Mandeville Lakefront. I'm with Mikey and Riley, and we're enjoying some nice lunch and the breeze and the water and the birds, and it's so beautiful out here. I hope you and your family are also doing some fun things. Well, I found the perfect book to read to y'all. It is called How I Became a Pirate. And this book is by Melinda Long. And David Shannon is the illustrator. Here's our title page, How I Became a Pirate. All right, and we're gonna meet him. His name is Jeremy Jacob. Let's see. Pirates have green teeth when they have any teeth at all. I know about pirates because one day when I was at the beach building a sandcastle and minding my own business, a pirate ship came into view. I knew what it was because it had a flag, a black flag that had skulls and crossbones on it. And I could hear the pirates singing, hey ho, blow the man down. They were a little off key. So is Miss Shelley, so that's okay. I tried to tell Dad, but he was busy setting up the beach umbrella. Dad! Dad! I tried to tell Mom. Mom! Mom! But she was busy slathering my baby sister with sunblock. So I went back to my sandcastle, but I kept an eye on the pirates. By then, they were rowing to shore. When they landed, the head pirate climbed out of the boat and yelled, Ahoy there, matey! See this the Spanish main? No, I said, this is North Beach. Shiver me timbers, the pirate said. We must have taken a wrong turn at Bora Bora. Let's see. He walked around my sandcastle. He looked at the moat, then yelled back to his crew. He's a digger, he is, and a good one to boot. A good one to boot, the others agreed. What be your name, matey, the head pirate asked. Jeremy Jacob, sir, I told him. Well, Jeremy Jacob, he said, you looking at Braid Beard and his crew. We've been needing a digger like yourself. We have a chest full of treasure to bury. Aye, aye, treasure, the others shouted. We're coming with us, Braid Beard told me. I didn't think Mom and Dad would mind as long as I got back in time for soccer practice the next day. That's how I became a pirate. As soon as we were on board, Braid Beard showed the chest of gold and jewels. Gotta find a safe place for this here treasure. It's high time we're off, he announced. We're off, we all shouted. And then we set sail. There was plenty to do on board. The pirates taught me to sing sea chanties the louder the better and to say real pirate stuff like landlubber and scurvy dog. By dinner time, I could speak pirate perfectly. I also learned pirate manners. Braidbeard pounded his fist on the table and yelled, Down the hatch, me laddies, down the hatch, we all shouted. Braidbeard gulped his food and said, Hand over the meat, the meat, we all roared. Nobody told us to finish our spinach, because there wasn't any, or to chew up our carrots. They weren't allowed on board. We talked with our mouths full, and nobody said please or thank you. After dinner, I tried to teach the pirates to play soccer. Braybeard kicked the ball and yelled, Arr, soccer! Arr, soccer! The crew yelled. Then everybody dove to, for the ball at once and it rolled right off the deck. After it, me hearties, Braybeard commanded. After it, we all whispered. We fought over who would get the ball, but it didn't matter anyway because a shark came along and swallowed it in one gulp. So much for soccer. By now, it was past my bedtime, but nobody tells pirates to go to bed, to take a bath, or to brush their teeth. Maybe that's why their teeth are green. Pirates sleep with one eye open, just in case. And they don't change into pajamas unless they want to. Pirates don't do anything they don't want to, except for maybe swabbing the decks. I wanted to be a pirate forever. But then I found out what else they don't do. When I couldn't stay awake any longer, I asked Bray Beard to tuck me in and read me a story. Tuck you in? Pirates don't tuck in. Ha 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 he bellowed. No tucking, the crew cried. And the only thing they had to read was a map. Don't you have any books, I asked? Bray Beard looked confused. Books? I didn't even bother to ask about a good night kiss. It wasn't easy to fall asleep without a story, but I was finally dozing off when a storm broke. Thunder boomed and lightning flashed. I cried to hide under the covers. 
and waves slammed up against me and the ship, but I kept falling out of my hammock. I couldn't find anyone in the cabin. They were all on deck. Lower the sails, Braidbeard shouted, batten down the hatches. Everybody ran around yelling and lo lowering and battering. Nobody had time to sit close and tell me it would be over soon. Nobody even noticed me. I decided that I didn't want to be a pirate after all. Just then, flash, crash, crack, lightning hit the mast and split it right down the middle. What do we do now? yelled one of the pirates. We'll have to turn back, called another. But the treasure, hollered, hollered Braidbeard. Where will we bury the treasure? I stepped forward. Maybe I can help. I shouted over the wind. I think I know the perfect digging spot. When the storm was over, we rowed back to shore and buried the chest. We drew a map so we couldn't find the treasure, so we could find the treasure again. But I didn't think I'll need it. So look, it says Jeremy Jacobs' backyard, and they have where he's buried it in his backyard. After that, the pirates repaired the ship and got ready to set sail. Before they left, Braidbeard handed me a flag and said, You made a fine pirate, Jeremy Jacob. Guard that treasure well. We'll be back to get it soon enough. Soon enough, the crew repeated. And if you ever need us, Braidbeard added, just, turn, just run the Jolly Roger up your yonder pole. Up your yonder pole, the others shouted. And maybe I will, but not today. Bye! She's waving bye to all the pirates. I have soccer practice. All right, so that was the end of our story. I hope y'all really enjoyed how I became a pirate with Jeremy Jacob. And maybe just like Jeremy did in this story, you could have a little treasure hunt in your own house. And you could hide the treasure somewhere in your yard. And look, we're gonna show you a picture of this treasure map again. And Mikey's videoing for me, so let's see if Mikey will get close to the map. You can really see it. And that way, see it says Jeremy Jacobs Backyard, but instead it's gonna have to say your name and your backyard. And they have a compass, it says north, south, east, and west, so people know where to go. And they draw a little line, and X marks the spot for the treasure. I would love to see y'all draw some treasure maps and maybe even take a picture of some of the treasure that you're um, hiding. Your treasure could be a lot of things. It could be a cool toy or some other kind of surprise. I hope that y'all enjoyed this story. I really miss you. Bye, guys.